Epistemology is its own field, and epistemology is the study of what knowledge is. Skepticism is one way to think about knowledge. Nihilism is another way to think about knowledge. If you reject skepticism, there's lots of different ways you might be thinking about knowledge. So when we're asking this question, what is skepticism, we're asking something like, what does the skeptic think about knowledge? So starting from there, let's move forward. You think something. You think that you're watching this YouTube video. You think that you're hungry. Or you think that your birthday is September 10th. Or you think that your mother's name is Mary. There's all these things that you think. There are things that you think that you know. But there's lots of different ways that you can be wrong. What if you're dreaming that you're watching a YouTube video? Or what if you're dreaming that you have a mother and her name is Mary? What if you're dreaming that your birthday is September 10th? Well, when you're dreaming, doesn't it seem to you like the things that you're dreaming are actually happening? And in your dream state, don't you have observations that are a lot like the observations you have in your wake state? Well, if you're dreaming that you have a mother whose name is Mary, then you don't actually have a mother whose name is Mary. You think you know, but you're wrong. There's lots of different ways that you can be wrong. You could be misled because someone is showing you a hologram of Tupac, and you don't know that Tupac has died, and so you think you're at a Tupac concert because of holograms or hallucinations, because of drugs, because of optical illusions, because of dreaming. There's lots of different ways in which you can think you know something, but you might be wrong. There's lots of philosophers who have discussed examples where it seems like we can't know that we have knowledge. And that's basically what skepticism is arguing. A skeptic is someone who says that we can't know what's true, that we can't know that we know something. The Chinese philosopher Zhuang Zhu had an allegory of the dreamer this story about a man who woke up from a dream and his dream was him being a butterfly and he was wondering once he woke up was he a man who was dreaming that he was a butterfly or is he a butterfly right now dreaming that he's a man if you can't prove that you're not dreaming right now then you can't prove that this is real. And if this is not real, then you don't have knowledge of it. Pyro is another person who wrote about skepticism and was also a skeptic. Rene Descartes is another person, a philosopher, a French philosopher, who wrote about skepticism, but Rene Descartes wrote about skepticism to reject it. So even though if you get on the Google machine and you look up skepticism, you're going to find all sorts of information about Rene Descartes. Don't be misled. He was not a skeptic himself. But when people are studying skepticism, they will study the works of Rene Descartes. The Cartesian evil demon argument is the following. What if there was a supernatural, something very, very, very powerful spirit or demon, and its entire goal was to mislead you? You would have experiences like you staring at a screen, listening to a, a YouTube channel, just like this, just like what you're experiencing now. But the whole thing would be an illusion. If you can't prove that you're not the victim of some evil demon who is tricking you, putting these experiences in your mind right now, then you can't prove that the experiencing that you're doing right now is real. And if that's the case, you can't know anything. Gilbert Harmon came up with a thought experiment now called the brain in a vat which involves technology. If you were something like in the matrix hooked up to some machine and the machine was making you think you had these experiences that you were not actually having because you're only having them in some illusionary virtual reality but not in the real world, you wouldn't know. 
And if you can't prove that this is real, then you don't know that this is real. That's the idea of skepticism. Lots of authors have argued for skepticism and lots have argued against skepticism. You'll see Rene Descartes is one of the authors with that X on it. That's because he argued against skepticism. Backing up here, we have this question. What is skepticism? It's, in a nutshell, the idea that we as human beings don't have what it takes to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that anything is the case. If you want to reject skepticism and hold that we do have knowledge, we can know things, then there's lots of other camps you might fall into.